Hello, I want to say a big thank you to you for joining me on today's class. Today, we're going to be learning about my top five favorite payment tools for no code applications. If you've been thinking what no code application should I use for my application? What do I do? How do I integrate payment? What's the best payment gateway for me? Today, I'm going to walk you through my top five. You know, I haven't built, built no code applications for a lot of clients. I think I know, you know, I know, I mean, I, I think I'm in a very good position to let you know the payment gateway to use, my favorite out there and why I use them and when you should use them and how you too can get started integrating payment into your application. So don't forget, if you're joining me for the very first time, this is the classroom. You're very welcome to the classroom where we learn about no code, productivity, and of course, freelancing. Yeah. I want you to learn how to build your dreams and make some money in between. So this is me. My name is Paul NoCode. I'm your favorite NoCode teacher, consultant, and developer. So you want to do anything along the line, feel free, free to reach out to me. So let's get started with my number one on the list. So Stripe is my number one on the list. Why? Because it covers so many countries, so many countries, and they have a very, very they have very, very, very heavy solutions for for almost anything you want to do. Yeah, that's one thing I love about Stripe. They have tailored solutions for almost anything you want to do. For example, if you want to charge a one-time fee, they can help you. If you want to charge a recurring fee, they will help you. If you want to charge on your mobile application, you can do that via Stripe. So Stripe pretty much covers most of the areas, right? They cover most of the great areas that you need to accept um you know they cover most of the things and give you most of the tools you would need to accept payment anywhere and everywhere one thing i love about stripe is that stripe pretty much covers everything if you're building a web application you can use stripe if you're building a marketplace you can use stripe if you're building a a mobile application you can use stripe so stripe is pretty much for everybody you know i love when you're build. i'm i love when i'm working on marketplaces for client with stripe and the way i'm able to divide the money among many parties Say for example, in your uh, SaaS application, you're charging fifteen dollars, and you and it's a marketplace. So somebody comes to your marketplace, buy a particular product. You want to give like maybe ten dollars to the owner of the product. You want to give three dollars to to um to the platform, or you want to give two percent to yourself, even while that person is still paying a subscription. Right? That's pretty complex for some other um some other payment gateway to do, but not complex with Stripe. You get it, right? So I love Stripe because they give almost everything right off the bat. You know, their API is very good. I use Stripe API with Bubble, and I think it's one of the best best API you could really use. No caps. Stripe has one of the best API, one of my favorite API documentation, and it just works every single time. And if you want to get started with Stripe, you can check out most of the product. You can see they have... Um, you can see they have payment, checkouts, billing, even invoicing, terminal. You know, there are lots of things that you can do with Stripe. And I think, you know, there are lots of things you can do with Stripe. That's why it's making its way to my number one payment gateway. So number two for me, it's Lemon Squeezy. The reason why I choose Lemon Squeezy as number two is because it is very, very easy to integrate. It's very easy to, easy to integrate. And it's very easy to integrate. And as somebody who stays in Africa, Lemon Squeezy allow, enables me to, to sell to the world. Unlike Stripe. So Stripe is not available in Africa. As an African business person, I can use Stripe for anything. I can use Stripe for anything. The only way I can use it is if I register a Stripe Atlas account, which is going to cost me around 500 US dollars. Or if I have a limited liability company in my name as an as an African, do you get it, right? But outside that, I'm unable to use Stripe. Why people in America can set up Stripe with nothing without any document? If I want to set up Stripe, it's gonna it's going to require me to have lots and lots and lots and lots of document. But for Lemon Squeezy, Lemon Squeezy, like it says here, enable you to uh, handle payments, tasks, subscriptions for anything and everything you want to do. Yeah, that's why I love Lemon Squeezy. It works very well in, in, in Nigeria. 
Yeah, it works very, very well in Nigeria and you can collect payment from all of this. Via credit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, any of the thing that you want to sell, you can collect payment from 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 um, anybody with Lemma Squeezy. You can see, you can accept online payments, recurring billing, license key management, you can sell digital downloads, no code checkouts, you know, you can launch your own e-commerce store, a whole lot more. So, but the only thing that I think they've not really implemented it's with regards to the API. You cannot create dynamic products from the API. You know, when I use Stripe and probably it's a marketplace, I can allow users to create their own product and each and every time a person wants to buy that product, I can easily just create it on, on my on allow users allow merchants to create their own account, you know, add their own product and that pricing will be very dynamic. But for um, Lemon Squeezy, you first have to come here, create the product first before taking the, pro the ID. But on Stripe, you can create a new product on the go, right? You can create a new product on the go. It doesn't matter what it is. You can just keep on creating product on the go. So that's, that's um, Lemon Squeezy. Number three on the list for me is Paddle. Paddle, the reason I love Paddle is because it's so good for task compliance, it's so good for chargebacks and fraud. It has very, very, uh, <clears throat> it has very good API documentation and there is no monthly fee. There is no migration. There's nothing to do. And you know, some of the things that Stripe can do, yes, Pado can do it. And Pado's affiliate system, I think it's stopped now, but uh, I was using Pado affiliate marketing system before now, and it was really great. You know, um, yeah, it was really great. Lemon Squeezy has does have one, but I'm not sure if it's as flexible as what we have here on Pado. But Pado gives you the the opportunity to sell all types: subscription, checkout, payment, tax, upsell, down sell. It's just a very good way to get started with using payment in your application. And uh, if you're using SaaS, if you're, if you're building SaaS, I really expect you to use Stripe, you know, use Stripe, use Lemon Squeezy, use uh, um, Paddle. They are very good when it comes to billing your your users repeatedly. And also Braintree. I love Braintree because you can easily integrate it with Flutterflow applications and all other mobile app builder that you're currently considering. Yes, Braintree is a very, very cool tool that you can really implement. So that's one reason I love, that's one of the reasons I love it because it's easy to implement, it's cool, it's majorly for mobile. So I use it majorly for mobile because I can receive money with Braintree via Apple Pay and Google Pay and it just, you know, really makes sense. And another one you want to check out right here is Publi. I get emails from Publi a lot since I connected my first Zap on Publi. So Publi is a very cool application. Since I connect, read my first automation here, I have really, really been in love with this product. So the reason why I said automation is because Publi has a whole lot of product. You know, there is Publi Connect, Publi Email Marketing, Publi Email Verification, Publi Phone Builder, Publi, Publi Subscription Billing. This is where we are now, the Publi Connect, but they have lots and lots and lots of product to check out. So this is some of the reason why I love it. You see, look at it, look at it up here. You can get lifetime access to Publi and Publi will not charge you a dime. Remember when we, if you look at um, Lemon Squeezy and we click on pricing, you will see Lemon Squeezy will charge you. You know, they will charge you $5 plus 50 cents for every transaction, right? That's how much they will charge you. Stripe also will charge you the same thing. If we go to pricing, you'll see Stripe will charge you very similar, 2.9% um, plus 30 cents. But you see, when you come to Publi, Publi does not charge you anything. So they get to charge you per month. But now they're running a promo where you get to use it for one for the five dollars for lifetime access. So what that means is that if there's any updates, if there's anything on the application that needs to change, they'll change it for you without actually requiring money from you. So another um, payment gateway I love is Razzle Pay. Razzle Pay is mostly for Indians, right? It's mostly for indians it's an indian company but they are really really going super fast so razzle pay is similar to the other two the other two that we talked about but when you're building for an indian company of course you want to explore so many options there's payment link there is 
uh, payment pages, payment button, small cards, routes, subscriptions. So these are some, these are some of the main features you would need for any application you're building. And I'm super glad that Razor Pay has most of them. So these are my top five. I'm gonna add two more. Uh, yeah, these are just gonna be bonus. I love Shopify. So if you are going to be building stuff with Shopify, it is very great. Their pricing is very affordable. I just click on the pricing. You can see start free from one month and then one dollar per month for three months. You can see they, they really have a very fair pricing when it comes to um, shopping with a uh, shopping cart. And I, I just, they really, the, the pricing when it comes, when it comes to working with super, uh, with, when it comes to working with Shopify, the pricing is very, very reasonable. And my the last on my list is Paystack. Paystack is an African and Nigerian based uh, payment gateway that works every time. The reason why I think I love I love um, Paystack is because of its documentation. Its documentation is so detailed. You can hardly miss anything if you go through that documentation carefully and you're able to do everything and almost everything on the application without needing someone else. Yeah, Paystack is the best choice for you if you're connecting anywhere around Africa and it really makes sense for you to have them. Their pricing is very, 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 very cheap. 1.5% plus 100 naira. That wouldn't cost you anything. It's very, very affordable, their pricing, and I think it's something that you should use for your SaaS startup. Um, those are my favorite two I use every time I, I intend to integrate payment. Uh, on a mobile application or on a web application. That's it for me. What's your own favorite no, favorite no code payment too? If you have one, leave it in the comment section so we can talk about it. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.